The memory of going to the beach every New Year's Eve is one I share with cousins and most people raised black. How the elders would forbid us from going in too deep to giggle, to splash in our black tights and sharp ride plastic bags wrapped around our new weaves forbid us from riding the wave for fear that we would be a mass of blackness swept by the tide and never to return like litter. The elders forbid us as if the ocean has food poisoning. I often wonder why I feel as if I am drowning every time I look out into the sea. This and feeling incredibly small. And I have often heard this joke about black people being scared of water or not being able to swim. We are mocked, and we have often mocked ourselves for wiping our faces the way that we do when we come out of water, compared to how they do it all Baywatch-like, and how we so ratchet-like with our postures and kink. Every time our skin goes under, it's as if the reeds remember that they were once chains, and the water, restless, wishes that it could spew all the slaves and ships onto shore, whole as they had boarded, sailed and sunk. Their tears are what have turned the ocean salty. This is why our irises burn every time we go under. Every December 16th, December 24th, December 31st, our skin re-traumatizes the sea. They mock us for not being able to willingly throw ourselves into something that was instrumental in trying to execute our extinction. For you, the ocean is for surfboards, boats, tans, and all the funky stuff you do under there in your bathing suits and goggles. But we, we have come to be baptized here. We have come to stir the other world here. We have come to connect our living to the dead here. Our respect for water is what you have termed fear. The audacity to trade and murder us over water, then mock us for being scared of it. The audacity to arrive by water and invade us. If this land was really yours, then resurrect the bones of our colonizers and use them as a compass, then quit using black bodies as tour guides or the site for your authentic African experience. Are we not tired of dancing for you, gyrating and singing on cue? Are we not tired of gathering as a mass of blackness to atone for just being here? To beg God to save us from a war we never started? To march for a cause caused by the intolerance for our existence? Raise our hands so we don't get shot. Raise our hands in church to pray for protection and we still get shot there too. days of Elijah, we have been engineered to kneel to whiteness and we're not even sure if the days of Elijah even existed because whoever wrote the Bible did not include us. But I would rather exist in that godless holy book than in the history books that did not tell the truth about us, for us, on behalf of us. 
if you really had to write our stories, then you ought to have done it in our mother's tongues, the ones you cut off when you fed them a new language. We never consent, yet we are asked to dine with the oppressors and serve them forgiveness. How? How? When the only ingredients I have are grief and rage, another one who looks like me died today, another one who looks like me was murdered today by your kind. May that be the conversation at the table, and we can all thereafter wash this bitter meal with amnesia and go for a swim after that, just for fun. Just.